Hi everyone, today I'm going to demonstrate how to use our video and videos widget within our content editor. Now these widgets are very similar, but really the only difference is that our video widget is going to allow you to bring in one video to our canvas and videos is going to allow you to bring in multiple videos into your canvas and have them loop in between each other. So the properties are very similar, but I'm going to demonstrate the single video widget first. So with this widget, if you go over here onto your main properties, you're going to see that we have source. Now, if you've watched our image tutorial, you've seen this before. And what this allows you to do is uh, basically allows you to choose the uh, video file that you want to bring in. So if I click on this, it's going to bring in videos that I've already uploaded into my file manager, and I could select any of these. I could also upload a new by clicking the plus icon and upload. I could even bring in an external URL um, and basically upload a file that way. But for now, I'm actually just going to go ahead and choose stars here. Now we do recommend that you do upload your videos in an MP4 format. So now that this has brought the video into our canvas, if we look under our main properties here, we can now change the volume at which this video plays at. We can round the edges of the video and we can change the opacity. From here, I can go into our other properties and we're going to notice this behavior tab that is different from all our other widgets. Now what this is going to allow you to do is let's say for loop here, um, you want your video to loop if let's say the slide length is longer. So in this case, our slide is 35 seconds and our video is 28 seconds. So there's a seven second difference there in which this video would have to loop if you wanted to, it to play the whole 35 seconds. And that's what that is gonna allow. External player, this is checked on by default. And what this allows you to do is use your media player to render the video and basically allow for better playback. Now play in, you can have that play in background and then you can also change how you want the external player to render. Keep ratio is pretty self-explanatory. If I resize, it keeps the ratio. If I uncheck it, it skews it. So we have other properties such as our effects that are found within many of our other widgets, as well as animations. So I'm gonna have this fade in. Now, if I click on these three dots, it's gonna allow me to bring in some more properties. In this case, I'm only gonna mention mask. And why I'm mentioning mask is because what mask allows you to do is reference a PNG and basically have that image, the outline of it, become the outline of the video and sort of crop it, if you will. So let me click on this here, choose my circle PNG that I uploaded, and now it's cropped that into a circle. So let me just resize this, make it a little bit bigger and make it look more like a circle. Perfect. So that's basically gonna be it for our video widget, but let's talk about our videos widget. So as I mentioned, this is gonna allow you to bring in multiple videos. So if we go to our main properties panel here, you're gonna see that it looks a little bit different. Our behavior tab has now gone on to our main tab rather than other. And also there's multiple ways that we can upload our videos. So in this case, if I wanted to upload a playlist of videos, I could use this uh, folder option and toggle it. It's now gonna present me with a folder path property. And if I click this, it's going to allow me to reference a folder so in this case, if I click in here, I have multiple videos that I've already added. So if I go back and select this folder, it's then gonna bring those in um, in sort of a playlist fashion. Now, let's say I didn't wanna upload all the videos in a folder, just a couple. I could go ahead and uncheck this, add video, and then I could just control click multiple videos and choose those files and they're below here. Now. I could also click this minus button and get rid of a video. And then I could even randomize the order so it doesn't play in this exact order. So that's pretty much gonna be it for this video on our video and videos widgets. There will be more tutorial videos on this channel. If you did have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at sales at Thank you and see you next time.